This video is sponsored by OWC. iPad OS 16 is a pretty substantial upgrade. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you five of the features that you need to know that will be coming to your iPad later this fall. Announced in macOS Ventura, the new Stage Manager feature also made its way to iPadOS 16. And with it comes the ability to finally resize your windows. When in Stage Manager, you'll see all of your open applications on the left side, and then your one app that's in center stage. You can then tap or click on any other app to easily switch or drag another app to center stage to have multiple overlapping windows at once. Most apps can already be resized in this beta, even third-party applications. And so I'd imagine this experience will get even better once app devs take advantage of this feature to its fullest extent. If you wanna resize a window, you'll see a little arrow kind of thing in the corner of the box here at the bottom, and you can just easily pull that with either the mouse or your finger, and you can resize. There is a little bit of limitation, but you can still resize to uh, you know, make it larger or smaller, and then have other windows layered on top. Another benefit of this feature is the ability to now fully extend your iPad to an external display. Now, plugging in your iPad to an external display, like the Pro Display XDR, for example, uh, will give you resolutions of up to 6K to work with, but now you can also take advantage of Stage Manager and all of these multiple windows and apps being open at the same time on a much larger display. And yes, it finally takes up the entire screen and there's no more mirroring. It's a true extension of your iPad. You can even change where your iPad is in relation to the display like you would on Mac OS. And then you have another external monitor if it's on the right, left, below, or top. You can then have uh, one app open on your iPad and then a whole other desktop-like experience available on the external monitor. And it's just something that users have been clamoring for for a long time. And the support is finally available in iPad OS 16. There are also new display modes like reference modes, which enables the 12.9 inch iPad Pro with liquid retina XDR display specifically to deliver reference colors for photos and video editors who need to edit their content and rely on color accuracy and just wanna do it on their iPads. Reference mode can also be used as a secondary reference monitor for your Mac using Sidecar. Apple has also finally brought over the weather app for the iPad. And I know you're what you're thinking, how can a weather app be a significant feature? But a lot of people have wanted a weather app specifically from Apple. And the weather app has gotten so good on iOS lately that I'm really happy to see this application get ported over to the iPad. It looks really good on these bigger displays. There's a lot more information available. You can have your animated backgrounds on a much larger display. There's maps and air quality information, future forecasts, and even severe weather notifications too. The app is mostly laid out in this tile view. You kind of have everything at one quick glance. And again, glad that the weather app is finally here. And last but not least, Apple spent a lot of time actually introducing some new collaboration and team-oriented features. And one of these new features or apps is coming later this year and it's called Freeform. Freeform gives users a flexible canvas that's perfect for diagramming or brainstorming ideas with your team members. It's fully collaborative and you can have other people make edits and contribute in real time. Think of it as if you were all standing in one room together drawing on a whiteboard and brainstorming that way. It's pretty much the same thing except you can do it wherever you might be in the world. Obviously this is going to be a great feature for people who want to write or draw with the Apple Pencil, but you can also drop in images, videos, audio, PDFs, documents, and more. You can also jump into a FaceTime call without having to leave the Freeform app or have updates from collaborators appear right in the Messages app inside of your team's conversations. There are also tons of other new features and updates coming from iOS 16 to iPadOS 16. These are just some of the more iPad specific features that I wanted to mention, but be sure to check out our last video, which highlights a lot of the other iOS 16 features that will be in iPadOS 16 when it arrives later this year. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. The OWC Mini Stack STX is a stackable storage solution and Thunderbolt Hub expansion for your Mac Mini, or really any Mac. With a universal SATA hard drive SSD bay and an NVMe SSD slot, you can actually expand your mini storage capacity to gigantic proportions. Three Thunderbolt ports are enabled for you to connect millions of Thunderbolt USB and future USB 4 drives, displays, AV mixers, cameras and tablets, as well as desktop accessories like a keyboard, card reader or mouse. 
The Mini Stack STX is whisper quiet due to its internal heat sink and cooling fan. You can add over 200 times more storage to your Mac Mini and add RAID protection via soft RAID software. And of course, you're adding a mix of up to five Thunderbolt devices, three USB, and two displays. Even though this size perfectly for a Mac Mini, as I said before, you can use it with any Mac, even a PC or your iPad and Chromebooks. And so for more information about OWC in the Mini Stack SDX, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Dreamers. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.